So Leute, herzlich willkommen wieder zurück zu Tales of Exilia mit euer Giga Tobi. Äh, ja, ich hoffe, es hat euch der vorige Part wieder gefallen und jetzt geht das hier so gesehen weiter. Alles weiter findet ihr in der Videobeschreibung und äh, so, jetzt müssen wir die erstmal hier wieder verbessern, weil äh, die waren ja so lange ja nicht bei uns in der Gruppe, wir waren ja getrennt und... Hä, warum ist das so, so heftig rangezoomt? Hä? Das sah voll komisch aus. Ah. Hä? Wie das aussieht. Los, lass uns eine zweite Kugel machen hier. Kugel 1, jetzt haben wir 2, super. Können wir mehr auf Stärke gehen, weil wir hier kriegen wir richtig viel. Seht ihr das? Also Erwin ist richtig stark. Denn, boah, 670 Angriff. Also Stärke, also Wahnsinn. Wie stark sie hier werden. Wahnsinn. Überschreitungsverlänge, achso ja. Das ist eigentlich auch ganz gut. Mal gucken, ey, weil wir können ja ihnen so gesehen ja wieder weiter Fähigkeit geben, damit sie ja äh, noch viel besser werden. Merket euch das. Das ist ja auch so eine Sache, die man ja bei Tells oft teilen ja auch kennt. Ja, super, ausgeweitet. Ja, dann gehe ich gleich wieder auf Angriff. Dann haben wir 711 Stärke. Jawohl. Äh, so, Fähigkeiten. Gehen wir jetzt mal auf Fähigkeiten. Flinke Umarmung. So, 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 so. What the fuck? Das ist richtig gut. Bei Erholung nach K.O. werden KP vollständig wiederhergestellt. Das ist ziemlich gut. Das ist ziemlich gut, Leute. Ich muss irgendwas Schwaches hier wegnehmen. So. Dann haben wir hier noch unser... Elven. Violetta Gürtel und Martial Art will be useful. Whether it's youth. Was haben wir denn hier? Ein Händler, wo wir dann wieder hier weiter alles ausweiten können und so. Das wollen wir ja auch machen. Mal gucken, was wir dann hier wieder als nächstes kriegen werden. Bin gespannt. Der Häcksler. Archenopel. Archenopel. Ja, geil. Gucken, was es ist. Also, das ist für ihn. What? Was sind das denn für Handschuhe? Runenhandschuhe. Macht Jude noch mächtiger. Ja, so awesome werden die dann. So. Unser äh, Elvin. So, jetzt noch mein Objekte was kaufen.
Wunderbar. <lacht> Waffenladen, Investor. I'm hungry. And if you don't eat a lot, you'll never grow bazungas. Jude's Fehltritt. I have you to thank for saving Jude. Not at all. Jude was quite a help to me. Thanks to his direct tethering with me, I was able to recharge much of my lost mana. Jude, you direct tethered with her? Uh, yeah. Muse asked me to. Was that bad? <laughs> bad? It's, uh... Direct tethering is something a spirit and a human do when, uh... uh... Since we were together constantly, he was able to fill me with loads of mana. I... I had no idea you were that kind of man. Mila, wait! Why is she so angry? My... I can't believe you'd ask me to explain that to you. Do you just want to hear me say it? Is that what you're into? Someone tell me what is going on with these spirits. <laughs> ich glaube, die Alte steht voll auf ihn. Stärke ist Schönheit. Everyone sure has gotten stronger. Especially you. You've really improved. I appreciate the increased strength, but I worry I'm bulking up too much. Never took you for one to care. Of course. The Lord of Spirits needs a suitable vessel. Better to be toned than to be out of shape. Totally. Strength is beauty. I think it's a good look. Buff Mila is the best Mila. <laughs> Well, if everyone thinks so, maybe I will try to tone up a bit more. Do it, Mila! Yoked out bazongas! Okay, yoked out bazongas! I'm not sure you'd want that. Does anyone else think that Alvin's acting kind of weird? Alvin's always weird. Das Geheimnis der Melon. Hey, Alvin, why is Tipo always talking about bazongas? What does that even mean? Oh, he finally asks. It seems you're ready to take the first steps towards becoming a man. Why do you have to make everything so weird? Forget I even asked. Bazongas are the burning fire at the heart of manhood. <sighs> Rowan? Jude, there are times to play it cool, but a man who fears his own passions is no man at all. Yes, exactly what I was trying to say. I'm not even sure I know what we're talking about. Then you will never know Bazongas. You have to want it, Jude. You have to need it. Then teach me about Bazongas. I can barely hear you. You have to mean it. <gasps> teach me about Bazongas! Whoa! Don't go shouting things like that! Don't scold him, Leia. I read about this in a book. It's called Puberty. We're supposed to be understanding and supportive. Mm -hmm. Don't hate us. There's no shame in being burned by the fire of manhood. <laughs> oh. Ah, that went well. Lately, I've felt so intensely focused when I fight. Even I have noticed. You are like a finely crafted sword. A sword, huh? A tool created for the sole purpose of cutting. There is beauty in its simplicity. However, a sharpened blade is surprisingly fragile. And a blade that's too sharp may cut the hand that wields it. <laughs> you two don't have to worry. I am no tool. I understand that in a wise wielder's hands, a sword can be used for more than cutting foes. Indeed. It might be used for maintaining one's mustache. Or peeling a potato, perhaps. Yes, and if you swing it sideways, you could use it as a blunt weapon. And if you spin it around the tip, you can use it to punch a hole like a drill. You could also use the sheath as a weapon to smash someone's joints. Uh, do you think Mila understood what we were getting at? I do believe she understood, but Mila's mindset is a tad on the aggressive side. <laughs> ja, was sie da für Sachen geredet hat, war auch wieder total zweideutig. Zweideutige Angelegenheit. Oh man, was sie da für so Themen ankommen, ey. So, ich denke mal, wir müssen da jetzt rein, oder? Gehen wir einfach mal rein. Schauen wir mal. Da sind sie ja. You've come. So, 
So in the end, you've chosen to trust that man. You're more naive than I thought, Maxwell. Tell us what your purpose is for bringing us here. We will stand and fight against those... invaders. If you intend to challenge them yourselves, we won't attempt to stop you. But first, there's something... you need to tell us. I want you to tell us what you know... about the schism. What's that? Two millennia ago, I cast the spirit art, Schism. It created a new world and sealed it away. That world is yours. It is known as Riza Maxia. Did Mila just say... that she created the entire world? Wow! She's like a goddess or something! It was for protecting spirits and humans. Riza Maxia is sealed. That implies the existence of another world outside the Schism, does it not? Yes. And that world is called Olympias. I was gravely mistaken about the Lance of Kresnik's true purpose. Exodus convinced Noctigal that it was a weapon, but all along they were plotting to create a device that would dispel the schism. Dispel the schism? To what end? I do not know. I wonder if perhaps they were looking for a means to siphon mana back to Olympias. No. All Exodus ever wanted was to go home. Back home to Olympias. It's all we've wanted for more than 20 years since we became trapped in Riza Maxia. We needed to find a way to either break through the schism or dispel it completely. But in order to dispel the schism, they would have to find a way to eliminate its creator. I see. So that's why Exodus kept trying to kill you. It doesn't add up. What is Gillen's master plan? I'm confused. I still don't understand. Gillen's actions are not going to get Exodus home any faster. He didn't need to bring the whole Olympian army. In unifying reason, Maxia, that was never our original intention. Gillen must intend to make use of Riza Maxia with the schism intact, but for what purpose? That's it. The Otherworld Reactor Plan. What? Huh? The hell's that? Most folks knew it as the Spirit Fuel Plan. That sounds bad. I remember my cousin telling me about it when I was still a kid back on the other side. Something about capturing spirits, and using them as fuel for Spyrexes. So you're saying, Gillen's ultimate goal is to corral all the spirits? But that doesn't make sense either. If all he wants is spirits, then why bother with the lies? Unless... he's planning on trapping us in Rize Maxia for our mana lobes. He seeks to use the people of Riza Maxia as a power source? The man is insane. Gilland most likely returned to Exodus HQ on the ocean. The Olympian army is with him, so getting there by boat won't be easy. Well then, perhaps we can commandeer one of the flying ships they have docked at Cambalar. Oh yeah, right. Because that sounds easy. It may indeed be our only option. Very well. We attack tomorrow.
Wait a minute, Gaius. Aren't we gonna team up on this? I mean, we both want the same thing, so... It's not a social gathering. Just how stupid are you anyway? It was Maxwell who created the schism, and trapped us all inside of it in the first place. Imprisonment is not so easily forgiven. It's entirely possible. We may end up fighting each other again. I'm sure you can understand why we're not ready to get all buddy-buddy with you. Like I said, do what you want. Just make sure to stay out of our way. Can you believe it? The nerve of those guys! They must be shorthanded. Why else would they share that kind of information with us? Despite what they said, I still believe that they are counting on all of us. For now, at least. <laughs>